Ladies and gentlemen, let's talk supplements. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Anyone else really panicked when I started shaking that shaker? Alright, so let me just stand all of these up along here like so. What's up guys? Liam here and welcome back to LSJ TV. So today's video we are going to be talking supplements, we're going to be talking vitamins. Do you need them? Are they essential? Short answer, I'll save you 10 minutes. No. But let me explain, right? You guys know I work for my protein, all this kind of stuff. So you're thinking, Liam, why are you telling me you don't need supplements? You must be lying. You take them all. Yes, I do. Well, I take lots anyway. I enjoy it. We'll get to that in just a sec. But in my daily vitamin stack right now. Hang on, before we get started, drop this video a like, comment down below, subscribe if you're new. Not only this, I'm actually filming Match Tuning's V3 Sour Pink Lemonade Ghost Legend video. So go and check that one out. I'll link it at the end of this one if you have not already. You guys are gonna love that one. So, starting off my list, we have glucosamine sulfate. Next up, we have A to Z multivitamin. And then we have vitamin D3. Next up, we have another unopened pack. Next up, Zinc and magnesium. In one, I used to have separate tablets. Now we have them in one. Why, you ask? Because that's easier, right? Essential omega-3. And finally, we have some vitamin C+. Plus. Do you need them all? Absolutely friggin' not. Can they help you? Yeah, yeah, 100%. Now that, all up in there, is a hell of a lot of tubs, right? I actually have this box, which you guys saw me chuck it out of just a second ago. So that I don't have to carry around all of this or get them out individually every single day, I have what is known as a pill box in the biz. This is from my protein. You can use LSJ at checkout on all of these and this pill box. I would highly recommend that regardless of how much or how little you take, you actually get one of these because they're, they're just really helpful to be honest. They cost like 70 pence with a discount. As you guys can see, there's a few different sections inside of this one in particular. I think there's two or three different um, pillbox kind of options on the My Protein website, but this is the one that I have. So what I tend to do is literally just get around about 10 days worth-ish. There or thereabouts, it's no biggie. I just kind of go one, two, three, four, there's about, yeah, there's about 10 and stick that in the top left, right? There is my A to Z multivitamin done. What I will then do next is take 10 of my glucosamine sulfate tablets. The one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, that's 10, okay. And then boom, it is literally that simple. I will repeat this process until it is entirely full for the next kind of 10 days or so. And then I just do a restock. I haven't told you guys about my vitamins or my supplements or anything like that uh, for quite some time. So I'm quite excited to share this video. Before we go any further, this is not me telling you to take all of this. This is me doing me. It could be detrimental to some of you to be taking some of the stuff that I'm taking. But I'm taking it because I think it's a benefit to me. It's just advice. You do whatever the fuck you want to do. Let me know in the comments if you understand that reference. Right, it's a push day. Let go. So never mind vitamins, never mind supplements, whatever the hell you wanna categorize what we're talking about as, right? Do you need any of them? Absolutely not. You can get the majority of things, of course with some exclusions, you can get the majority of the stuff and you should attempt to from food, right? If you're gonna have a protein shake, right, you should always aim, in my opinion, to get that from a chicken breast or like what if you're vegan, a vegan source of some sort, right? But some sort of protein from like a whole foods is always gonna be better than a protein shake in terms of micros and all of this kind of stuff, right? But let's be honest, if you're striving for 200 grams plus, like myself, of protein per day, that's just generally speaking how I like to do my diet, it keeps me full, I like protein, I like steak, I like chicken, 
it's quite hard to get every single bit of that from food. Because that's a lot of chicken, right? So this is where it starts to come in a little bit. What you have to bear in mind when you are buying any supplement, regardless of how expensive, how cheap, or anything like that it is, you need to bear in mind a few different things, right? What do you need? What are you actually gonna need to help you achieve your goal? What is gonna supplement your goal? Key is in the word, supplement, not rely. Supplement. Next up, you've got to think how much does it cost and what's your budget. Once you've got those things down, you can kind of decipher it into what you actually want to buy, as in what you want to take, whether it be a pre workout or you enjoy having a clear way shake at the end of your session, what you actually need, whether you need the protein first, whether that's at the top of your list, and then what you just feel like taking because you enjoy the process of taking supplements. And if that goes hand in hand with you staying on track, then that's what you're going to spend a little bit more money on, you know, because it's okay but only do that if you can afford to do it. Budget, again. Now, I would always advise, always, regardless of whether I work for my protein or not, right? I have a discount code. I can earn some money by selling you all these supplements, right? but you don't need them. You do not need them, okay? Just get your head around that. You do not want to rely on them. You do not need them. You can achieve the majority of what these things are gonna give you from natural food sources, right? Just in general. That's a very broad statement, but generally speaking, you're gonna be okay. Like we said with the protein a minute ago. The advice, and yes, it's just the advice that I would give, and it's what I would do, it's what I do do personally. <laughs> do do. This is what I do, myself and all of my mates do, and this is what works for us, right? So. We decipher what is at the top of our list and what is at the bottom of our list. And dependent upon budget, what you can get your hands on, what you feel like you actually just wanna take and what you enjoy taking, you decipher that list from one to 10 or one to 20 or however many things it is per month that you take, right? At the top of mine, and I should imagine at the top of the majority of yours, will be a protein. Whether that is a protein that you are just happy to drink, a protein that you know you're gonna get a good amount of protein from and it's just easy, right? If you're struggling on that day, you can chug a shake and you're good, right? Before bed, after workout, whatever, whenever you decide to take that. You chug that shake and you're getting your protein intake in. For myself, and I imagine a lot of the people watching this at home, protein comes way at the top of my list. It would come ahead of pre-workout, it would come ahead of all the fun stuff that we just enjoy taking, right? Protein, because it's a bare necessity in terms of recovery and all this kind of stuff, right? That's at the top. Next for me, number two, is a pre-workout. Why? Because I like it, because taking pre-workout is fun, ladies and gentlemen, because doing a scoop of pre is fun, because drinking and mixing it is one of my favorite things to do. It's part of my routine and it's what I enjoy doing. So is pre-workout essential? No, you can have a coffee or you can just take a friggin' caffeine tablet or something, right? You do not need pre-workout, but I love taking it and it's part of the process that I take three, four times a week out of my five or six workouts, right? Do you need that? No, of course you freaking don't. But can it help you? Yes, of course it can. You get increased power, increased strength, increased endurance, increased freaking alertness. The list goes on and on and on. pre workouts awesome if you get the right one. My protein, I'll let you check out. But is it what everybody needs and what everybody should be taking? No. <laughs> It's just not. Some people are just gonna be good with a coffee. My old man doesn't really like pre-workout, but it's top of my list, it's way down the bottom of his. He's good with a coffee before we come in here and train. And generally speaking, as long as I have some caffeine, I'm okay. But I like having pre-workout, but I don't have it every single time, you know? You've just got to get your list from one to the bottom, right? Next up, number three for me is a multivitamin, because I think everyone needs one of them. You can't really go far wrong with a multivitamin, you know? Protein, pre-workout, multivit. They're my top three. What are yours? In six session, I tell you what though, my shoulder today is not great. I don't know what it is, I've done a lot of driving recently and so my shoulder, just in general, it's hard to explain, like if I'm holding the steering wheel like this, my front delt is flexed pretty much the entire time. If I drive for a few hours, that's kind of 
I don't know, I think it's just knotted my shoulders and my traps a little bit. I'll be fine. I'll get the pulse roll on it or something, do some stretches, I don't know. Something like that it just feels a bit odd, but anyway. I haven't done a supplement video for quite some time, um, well over kind of a good couple of months or so now and considering I work for a supplement company uh, and have content to push for them on a daily basis, uh, I probably should do more. But I wanted to get my thoughts out there without kind of shoving it down your guys' throats because I hate it. There's nothing worse than someone that is in my position, right, that works with cool companies like my protein, that just shove it down your throats. You need this, you need that, you need this, you need that. Whilst it can help you, you do not need it, right? Just get your head around that. Get your head around what you want, what you can afford, and then what you actually just kind of give yourself as a little bit of a treat, right? Bear in mind all protein snacks and all this kind of stuff, kind of kept that separate from this video, but generally speaking, I would have a protein bar every day, at least every other day as a replacement snack if I feel like having a Twix, you know? I don't have a Twix, I will reach for something like this. Just one that I've got nearby, I've got a grenade bar, you know? Doesn't necessarily have to be my protein. You, you guys get my gist, right? Do what works for you and stick to that because that is how you're gonna get your results. Regardless of who you are, where you are, whether you've got a gym or not, regardless, right? Find what works for you and stick to that because consistency is what's gonna get you the results. If you don't enjoy what you're doing, you're not gonna be consistent and therefore you are not gonna get any friggin' results. So anyway, you guys get the point. I've rambled enough. Let me know your thoughts on supplements in the comment section down below. Let me know your thoughts on your top three. What would your top three supplements be? Let me know in the comment section down below and I might just do a vitamins giveaway for someone who comments their favorite three things. We've got to hit 75 likes on that though as well to get that. Mm -hmm. But that is that, ladies and gentlemen. Max's V3 pink lemonade workout, pre-workout video will be live before this. Yes, I think that will be live before this because I will put that live as close to launch as possible. Anyway, they'll both be live, this one and that one, they'll potentially same day, whatever. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. I get confused because I made that many videos as of late, but anyway, I hope you're enjoying them. Be sure to get involved in all the lockdown challenges. I think what I'm gonna do is try and make it a Wednesday thing. I will reveal the winner on a Wednesday and announce the next challenge on a Wednesday, and then you'll have until the Sunday to enter because then obviously I have to get ahead on filming and stuff, so yeah. It'll be a Wednesday, Sunday kind of thing. A bit like the challenge. A bit like the, but like the channel. Anyway, <laughs> head's gone. I hope you have enjoyed today's video, guys. If you have, please do me a massive favor. Drop it a like, drop it a comment down below and subscribe if you are new. I appreciate all of your support. Cool stuff is happening, especially with kind of the topic of today's video as well. So hopefully some cool stuff just around the corner. Subscribe if you are new. Together we will grow. I appreciate you all. And I'll see you in the next one.